Apple intelligence is here. And there's one feature that I think people are going to be using more than any other AI feature on the iPhone. It's called Genmoji. Today I'll show you how to turn it on on your iPhone, how it works, and how you can use it. Tech it before you wreck it. What's up, geeks? I'm Kirk. I've got the iPhone 16 Pro in my hand to show you what Genmoji is all about. Now, I know there's a ton of videos on YouTube and the internet about all the new AI features with the new iOS 18.2 update. I'm not gonna go through everything. What I wanna do is focus on the one feature that I think people will be using the most. It's Genmoji, and it essentially lets you use your imagination to create any emoji you want that doesn't already exist. And one of the reasons I think it'll be used the most is because, first of all, it goes right into your text messages, but also it's so easy to use if you know where to look. Step one though, is you need to make sure that Apple intelligence is turned on on your iPhone. So let me show you how to do that. After you get the 18.2 update, go into your settings app on your iPhone and you'll now notice that you have an option that says Apple intelligence and Siri. So tap into that and you'll see that you can turn AI, Apple intelligence on and off. So of course you wanna make sure it's turned on. And you'll notice there are a whole bunch of different options related to all these new AI features. You can go through those on your own, but really what you need to do is just make sure that this is turned on. That way you can access Genmoji. And I will tell you, the first time you turn it on, it's gonna take about four or five minutes to set everything up, to download all the Apple intelligence information. So make sure that you give yourself time to get that set up before you expect this to work. So once you've got that turned on and activated and ready to go, you can go into any app that uses the Apple keyboard. I'm gonna jump into the text messaging app, for example, and in the bottom left-hand corner of your keyboard, you always have that icon that shows the little emoji. That's how you insert emojis into your text messages already. So tap into there, and now you'll notice Next to the describe an emoji area, the search area for searching for new emojis, you now have a little sort of rainbow guy there. That is the Genmoji icon. Tap on that, it'll take you into the new Genmoji screen that looks just like this. And at this point, it's just your imagination. You can type in whatever you want and it'll create an emoji based on that. So for example, I'm gonna type in monkey pl playing, here we go, baseball wearing red shirt. And let's see what that creates. You see that little blob that shows you that uh, Apple intelligence is working. And there we go. We've got a monkey uh, playing baseball. Well, he's got a baseball shirt on and it does have the color red in it. If we slide to the right and left, it gives us different options. So we've got one that's got an actual baseball in it. We have one that shows him with what looks like sort of a baseball bat. Kind of an interesting choice here. Once you find one you like, you've got those three dots in the upper right hand corner of that emoji. That gives you the option to copy it, you can share it, you can save it to your stickers, you can add a caption or report a concern if maybe it doesn't match what you typed in. And then once you wanna use it in the window that you were already working in, you can simply tap on the, the emoji and there it is. Now it's inserted into my text message. I can add a message or just send it by itself. Now I wanna show you another way to use Genmoji that I think is almost even easier than going through the Genmoji window. And we get there by going into the same area, by tapping on the emoji icon in the bottom left hand corner of our keyboard. But instead of actually tapping into the Genmoji icon, just start typing something. So if you type in, for example, wow, it's gonna give you the wow emojis. But if I type in something that doesn't actually exist. So if I could type in bicycle with wings, and that's not an emoji that exists. I know that, but see how it now says create new emoji underneath it. I can tap that, it'll take what I typed and jump right into the Genmoji screen and create a bicycle with wings. And again, we've got multiple different options. In this case, we've got a few different colors. I'm gonna tap the red one and it will insert that back into the text message screen where I was working before I even entered that to begin with. So that's Genmoji. Again, I think this is probably the funnest, the easiest, and the most useful new AI tool, at least out of the gate. There are other tools that we're gonna use a lot over the years, especially as they get better. But I think right now, this is something a lot of people are gonna be using because we're texting so much, we use emojis so much, and it's right there where we already use our emojis. Comment below, I really wanna know what you think. 
Is this something you think you'll use on your iPhone? And more importantly, do you think it could be better? Are there things that you wish they had included? Comment below. I read every comment and I try to comment back on every comment here on my page. Subscribe to the channel. A lot more cool tech videos coming your way and it helps me grow here on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Tech it before you wreck it. I'm Kirk.